Dozens of young men are pulling up a treasure from the river. The captain is so excited telling them that. Good. Good. We'll be rich. Until they pull the treasure out of the water. Turns out the treasure is a coffin. The captain is still excited wanting to open the coffin to take treasure inside. Suddenly, an old man comes and stops them. The woman says that this is centuries old blood coffin. Once it's open, everyone will be in trouble. But that greedy captain won't take this advice. Still making his subordinates open it. Suddenly a cold wind blows. The forest is full of crows chirping. The river surface starts having something weird. Everyone is focusing on the treasure. At that time, a soldier has found out that the river surface is constantly moving. One second later, he is pulled to the river and gone. At that moment, there is a crash of thunder and the coffin is slowly opened. But there is no treasure inside, which upsets the captain. The woman comes over and tells him that the treasure must be in the dead body. The captain immediately believes it and pulls out an ancient golden nail from the body. However, three monsters jump out of the water. Three soldiers are quickly killed. People around start to run away in fright. Other soldiers begin shooting. But it's not simple to harm these monsters. Seeing each soldier is being killed. The captain is still paying attention to the treasure in his hand. Because the monster is cuffed, the captain is saved. When he's still happy about the treasure, another scary thing happens. The dead body in the coffin revives. The captain is then strangled and lifted up. He fires a gunshot to the monster's mouth, but nothing happens. The captain starts asking for help. The soldier is running over but the monster changes its goal. It has beaten four people up in a second. Just two people survive at the moment. The monster pushes the woman and the little girl away. At that point, a Bagua umbrella flies over. Eventually, Jiushu Master comes. He is a disciple of the Maoshan sect. That specializes in collecting different kinds of corpses. The monster is a demon cat. Who was buried by Jiushu's ancestor. After Jiushu wiped out it, he locked it in the blood coffin. This monster was born in a ghost land. He's neither a human nor a monster. Who has a body without a soul and organs. He's so strong as he can die, but cannot be destroyed. His disciple starts doubting. Will this coffin be able to capture this monster? Jiushu says that this coffin is made of peach wood and the black dog's blood so it can resist the demonic and evil spirit. As long as he follows what Jiushu is saying, nothing bad will happen. After that, he starts his magic. White rice, coins are to repress his soul. The first step is done. He then asks his disciples to nail seven nails. Surround the blood coffin based on this method. So they will finish repressing the demon cat's soul. Then when he left, his disciples just nail six to control the demon. But Jiushu doesn't know anything about this. A few days later, something bad happens. The demon cat has got out and started harming people. A dead body is found on the riverbank by a soldier. After that, Jiushu is getting ready to catch the demon cat. That is hiding somewhere in the mountain. A girl picking herbal medicine passes by. She slowly walks into the cave when she heard a weird noise. Unexpectedly, the demon cat sees it. She freaks out and rushes to run away. While the demon cat keeps chasing her non-stop. Fortunately, Jiushu's magic is still useful which prevent the cat from resisting. Jiushu and his subordinates try to control it together. The demon cat continues to run away. While running, the girl unintentionally cuts her finger. Her blood makes it easier for the cat to sniff where she is. In an urgent situation, Jiushu throws a coin at the cat's scarecrow, which make the cat fall to the ground. When she hasn't gone too far, she realizes that she has forgotten to take the herbal medicine. So she immediately turns around to get them. But her blood accidentally drips on the cat's face which helps the cat to revive once again. This is a special corpse movie that has just been released in 2020. Lin Jingying's movie used to be a happy childhood for many people in the 80s and 90s. After he passed away, there haven't been any Jiangshu movies released for years. Now, The Legend Returns 2 will bring Will You a sense of familiarity. The Bagua Umbrella, the wooden sword for exorcism, and his two apprentices. Except for catching the demon cat, there are tons of cute and hilarious scenes. For example, this one, when Jiushu brings medicine for the village chief's daughter. She is so sad that she hugs him. Jiushu awkwardly says men and women should avoid physical contact. Suddenly his junior has come to visit outside. Jiushu confusedly spills the medicine bowl on the ground after knowing this. So she wants to help him, but a more embarrassing scene happens. When his junior walks in, Jiushu is pretending to be sick on the bed. He even tells her that the pig has successfully climbed a tree. And asks her to go and check. Unfortunately, after the lie is exposed, she even sees a woman on the bed. Jiushu pulls his pants up and runs away. Is it because Jiushu is afraid of his junior, or the woman in bed? Do you feel that Jiushu is also very adorable right now? Another example is the junior's sister-in-law, 
who can make you guys laugh all day for sure. Moreover, Jiushu's gray hair is definitely caused by his two apprentices. This is the end of the review video. Thank you for watching.